Welcome to another episode of Modern Bach. Thank you for joining me. So it's been a pretty good weekend. Congratulations to the All Blacks for taking another champion, rugby championship. It's the third one in a row. Really proving why you are the team to beat in the world. And not only the world, but also in not only the competition, but the whole world. So well done. Very, very good. And I think this this last week's game where you guys really, really showed what you're made of. Um, you took comeback from the defeat. And not only that, I was very impressed with how you swapped out the strategy. You, you almost blindsided Argentina. I think they were expecting a very similar game style to how you guys have previously played, where you let the, you almost not coast, but you let the team play their strategy, let the team figure them out in the first half, and then only smash in the second half. And you actually altered that heavily and showed how good you are at adapting and growing your skills quickly and easily throughout uh, to be actually be able to make sure that you you can always blindside a team, and that's what makes you so dangerous in a World Cup. So. I was very impressed by that sudden burst in the beginning and Argentina just couldn't handle the pressure from that and they fell apart. So yeah, very well done. Congratulations, All Blacks. You deserve the victory, but we do. I'm looking forward to meeting you in Pretoria for a great game. I think it's just what rugby is all about, so it's going to be amazing. Okay, so let's get into the Australia uh, South Africa game. I think the biggest thing there, once again, South Africa suffering on the stats side a little. We really couldn't get the meters. We could. We had way more tackles, way less possession, way less territory. And one of the biggest things there, the territory for me, I think the biggest person to blame is Faf on that. I feel he really still has to plan his kicks better. He's is very. His sometimes kicks are very aimless. He's a stunning player, but I think he needs to avoid kicking almost, especially since since powerful people like Israel Folau on your Australian side. Australians are very good in the high balls from their footy. They really know how to perform. And I, I'm quite disappointed in the Australian coaching staff and for, for not making sure that they prepare for it. I feel like we're not, we're taking the same strategy into every game. We're not evolving to be opponent. And that's what All Blacks do so well. It's not, it, that's what takes you a good team to a great team. So South Africa really needs to look at how they adapt their game. I think they realized, like, just like what happened here, I think the All Blacks realized that they needed to crush the spirits of the Argentinians so that they can make sure that they win it. But th we can't seem to adapt our game there. We're following the same strategy, the same strategy we need to evolve. Um, I think probably South Africa needs to thank Wilgenia a little bit. I don't know what he was thinking passing a ball in the front of the try line there. That was a massive brain fart that gave us easy points and also built the whole confidence of the stadium up heavily. And I was really impressed with the crowd in, in PE. They really pushed the box up forward. And I think it's good to see in South African rugby. I hope we can continue that support. There's nothing better than a filled pack stadium. So please, guys, let's go out there and support our, our boys. There's, a, there's only one reason we all follow the game. And let's make sure that there's that. I know the TV is great to watch, but there's nothing better than hearing your buddy around you uh, with a beer in their hand screaming for the game. So let's go out there and support the boys. Cheslin Colby. Once again, proving to be a dynamo. Him and Deontay on both sides there is really making me very, very... It's, it's, it's exciting me for the World Cup. With those kind of wing prospects, I would, be, I would be very nervous. Any team would be exceptionally nervous to challenge us. They've, both of them have amazing feet. Colby showed beautiful um, speed and pace. When he had a little bit of space, I feel he has a little bit of a hard time um, getting get it when he gets the ball flat on the line like that. I think he does a little bit better with a little space. And Villiers needs to plan that. And he think he needs to ad adapt how he gives the ball. With Dianti, you can pass it flat. He's got an ex exceptional quick sp step and also quite a strong runner, so he can push through players. Whereas Colby needs a little few steps back. He needs to be pushed a little bit into a pocket so that he can start his maneuver. But once you give him that space, he is deadly. Also, once again, very impressed with both sides. I feel Deanti is improving on his shifting in defense. He was poor in the beginning of the year, but slowly I'm seeing to I'm beginning to see him really improve in his, in his shift defense. So that really needs to, uh, again, be a little bit uh, careful about the, letting a team come back. We did it last, week, uh, last time we were with All Blacks. We took a lead, and then we seemed to slow down a little bit. We need to make sure we keep the throttle on 24-7. You can't build a lead, and then spend defending it. We did a set again this time. We did do some kicks to protect it, and well done to Pollard for some really quality kicks and keeping the ball in the air well, and also making sure that he's proving that he can be a 90% kicker, something we really need for the World Cup. I have a little bit of concern uh, on, on the whole World Cup situation. I'm a little bit concerned that one thing we're not really doing is building any scrummies. Uh, we only really have played Fuff in the championship. 
there's a bar, bar a few minutes here and there, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. I think Embrace Papir, Ivan Fancel, and Ross Krenia really need some time. I, I'm assuming the plan from Rossi is to bring Embrace in, Embrace or Ivan Fancel, since they do play with Pollard at the box, but Ross Krenia is a talent in his own right, so I would love to see them get some game time. Maybe not in this All Blacks game, but the end of the year tour, especially since Faf is not playing there. We need to blood some players for the World Cup, otherwise we're going to be struggling enough if Faf gets injured, and that will hopefully doesn't happen, but we never know. So yeah, good game. I think it was a little bit more of a, a close test match. I feel whenever Australia and South Africa meet, it's a very much a, a, a grind-out game. I don't know why, but it definitely becomes a grind-out game. But both teams did well. I think South Africa just showed more of a test match quality there, and New Zealand, Australia just gave some lapses. I feel it's one of the reasons why we lost the game against them in Oz. Our, our own lapses giving away easy tries similarly. So I don't know why we need to just figure out what, happen, what happens there. Are the Aussies, when they travel, they also seem to do something similar in that regard. Okay, moving on.